it's minus 10. <laughs> We're about 4,000 meters up in the Himalayas <laughs> and Rick's in a t-shirt. <laughs> We're back in the Lake District National Park is myself, Rick. Good to see him again. Hello guys. Ant. Hey. And Leon. Hello guys. And we're up heading up Red Screes for a, for a nice Lake District wild camp. The weather's looking great. 25, 30 mile per hour winds northerly, so it's going to feel a little bit cold. We've got some nice beers. Good selection of tents. Rick's Bivian. And it's going to be a great wild Ooh, camp. So, yeah, I'm in the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. I've never used that before. Rick has. Ant has. So I'm interested to see how it fares and I'm looking forward to having the extra space and it looks like a nice roomy tent so we'll see what it can handle in terms of some testing-ish weather. But we've got the Ascent from Hell and I've for some reason got a woolly hat on and about 50 layers so I don't know why I've done that but I have to deke it. We'll speak to you a little bit later on. So that's it. We've, uh, we're just about to top out been a testing one if you have a few pints in the pub first you always kind of feel it but we're topping out on the summit of this one we've got a nice breeze it's not actually too bad and then we've got some fantastic views and it's really good air clarity not like when me and Phil were on hot top but spin you around there we go look at that Windermere the uh, highest groups on the horizon there of course Scarfell, Scarfell Pike and to the right that distinctive shaped peak is Great Gable moving around I'm not going to try and blag it, I can't name them all but well, we got Helvellyn there we go and we're all here on the trig point we've all survived I'm talking about surviving you can hear that wind picking up oh, yeah. is the cloud peak too a true four season tent as it says on the ticket oh, my, no. we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna find out we're gonna find out so just behind me favorite campsite brothers water middle dodd and the valley of dovedale just over the other side so we're gonna try and probably find a little bit of shelter if we can and we'll bring you back when we've decided where to put the tent i'll spin you around and show you what views we get here Look at that, spectacular. It's better than any hotel, in my humble opinion. You don't get that view. Absolutely spectacular. So what we've got to do now is get into the bag and it's the first time pitching the Cloud Peak, so I'm not gonna film it in real time. It'll be really boring, but I will bring you back when it's pitched. Well, I'm quite impressed with that so far. Um, it's not the flattest pitch but it's not too bad a couple of degrees but we are on a mountain after all not too bad to pitch pretty straightforward it would be a little bit more challenging in windy conditions uh, but if there's two of you you know just go around methodically and keep practicing in your garden or what have you and you'll get it down to a fine art what I've got left to do is put the top hat on there's various mods out there on the on the various different forums. Some people recommend tying it on. That's what my mate Phil's done. I'll be doing that in due course just so I don't misplace it or it doesn't blow away. But it's pretty taut, the fly sheet there. Well, it's pretty much drum tight. So if we can get the hat uh, tight on there as well, I'll be quite happy. Obviously, it's the first pitch and just a little bit of a minor niggle in that. I've, um, I've got my door that way and I would have prepared, preferred it here but it's not the end of the world um, it's pretty much freestanding once you've got the poles in and the fly sheet um, just on there clipped on but I can't be bothered moving it so it is what it is I can look out if I want to see the views a little thing I do just like on the Hillerberg tents you wrap the guy lines round the poles itself which in theory transfers some of the the force from the wind onto the pole as opposed to the fabric of the tent whether that's a good or a bad thing with these poles I don't know uh, time will tell but nice little tent and I'm looking forward to looking inside so I'm pretty impressed with the interior of this tent nice and roomy you've got two 
vestibules or porches, whatever you want to call them. Uh, there's ample storage here for your gear, for your rucksack in my case. I've got my 70 litre rucksack in there. And this one, just little bits and bobs. Um, you know, my drone and stuff like that. But if I spin you around, it really is nice and roomy. Um, you know, we've got nice little gear storage on that side. There's one mat for me. Um, you can definitely get two in. It'd be, you know, cosy, but you could definitely fit two mats in. That's a Neo Air x light in large. Uh, but it's good. Nice and roomy. Lots of headroom there. Bit of mesh. Um, you're protected from the breeze with this sort of solid fabric about just over 50% of the way up. Uh, the zippers on this one are like half moon. And you've got two doors. Obviously a door on each vestibule. So, yeah, nice and roomy. Really usable space. And the head height as well. So, yeah, I'm impressed with that. It's... Uh, yeah, it's good. It's nice and livable. Be nice in sort of bad weather. I'm just waiting for my drone app to uh, download because there's a bug in the software, SOD's law, and uh, I want to get some drone footage. But we'll wait for that to download, bring you a bit of drone footage, and then it'll be time to get something to eat. So there we go, bit of a bit of an external view of the, the tent for you. We've got the guys wrapped around the poles. I mentioned that earlier, but just to show you what I've done, a bit of a close-up view there. I, I spun it round 180 degrees just so I can look out. Got the door facing Windermere, and there's some really nice views there now. Some nice light as it's uh, on those distant fells, really nice really picturesque um, looking across to High Street and Thornthwaite Crag so I'm pretty impressed with it so far So we'll just go and see what Ant thinks about his Cloud Peak 2. He's had a day camp in his and he's also used it with Leon on a good overnighter on some local moorlands the other week. Anthony, first of all, what can you tell us about drone propellers and tent fly sheet? Well, to be honest with you, they don't go, they don't go together well, Chris. Right, what happens if um, they meet? Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> It could have been a lot worse, guys. It could have been a heck of a lot worse, but you know, we've had a slight incident. <coughs> An where, incident. Um, I, I weren't happy with the footage that I got. 
and I had to try it a third time, even though I got two, two great, well, hopefully great. A fly through, shots. yeah. Look at Ant's video. <coughs> Are you going to leave the uh, collision in? Uh, it might be on the end. Yeah, yeah bloopers. We might, we might stick it on the end as a, <coughs> yeah. But, but getting yeah. serious, mate, what do you think about the uh, Cloud P2 as a, as a shelter? <laughs> For me, it is the best, um, I'm, I'm going to say three seasons tent. Yeah. I'm going to say three seasons tent that I own. But purely for this reason, as you can see, I'm actually sat down. Don't know whether you guys know I've got a bit of a back issue. And um, <coughs> the Banshee Walk Leon's in has been my go to tent if I was to do any type of um, camps like this. I've only camped up one more, one mountain before, and that was in that, um, the Castle Crag one. Uh, where it stands up to a heck of a lot so that is a great a great uh, three season tent uh, for bad weather wind and, and things like that but this is just next level for me for me back i mean it's spa it's so spacious isn't it chris yeah <clears throat> loads of room yeah um loads of porch room two porches you can fly your drone through it no problem <laughs> <laughs> but no seriously it is yeah, a good a a good tent yeah yeah i'm yeah. well chuffed with it mate and thank you chris man yeah he's the guy who uh who let me have this one no worries pal absolutely yeah. you're welcome Jeez, buddy. so leon in the trusty banshee mate Aye. what are your first impressions of it i know it's ants mate and it's yeah, only so the, far, the it's first good. time you've used it it's actually a good, right. good little it's a tent little bit small and i'm not the tallest i'm only six foot twelve yeah <laughs> No, well, a good bit of kit exactly. though, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's all right, this. Uh, nice bit of booze selection there, mate. That's what you want. Definitely. A few little craft beers. There is. Nice. There is. So, yes, it's really cold. Uh, it's forecast to get down to, well, in the wind, minus uh, wind chill. It's down to about two degrees, one degree, according to the mountain weather forecast. So, yeah, it's a nice testing one. It's great to <coughs> come and get the warm weather gear on again. First time I'm wearing a hat. Uh, for this this part of the year so it's time to get something to eat and enjoy the rest of the camp bit of a cloud sort of low level cloud starting to head in now hopefully the weather's going to hold up but it should be a good one uh, we'll open the first beer and get the stove lit yes so back in the warmth and security of the tent usual cook kit for me i've kind of just gravitated to this setup now on pretty much every camp just because it simply works msr titan kettle that houses my stove an eoe cabaltum stove from my friends over at valley and peak uh, just got a ferrocerium rod or a fire steel that's in there as well just to get the stove lit and meal wise very simple but i like it a bit stodgy it's not the most tasty but you know it works for me uh, mince beef hot pot um, it's really cold so I have actually got some gloves with me today but I will be practicing what I preach and when the boiling water's in here I'm just going to put my hands around it and use that hot water just to warm up as the food is rehydrating too. What an absolutely lovely set of views from the vestibule on this camp. Really nice looking at Windermere snaking its way south back out to Morecambe Bay and yeah we can also look across to Yorkshire bit of an iconic peak there as well if you know the name of it a bit of a quiz let me know in the comments below this video well here we go shout out jeff my mate from work hook me up with a few of them um really nice here pal and what better place to come and enjoy a can of wayne right than where the big man himself used to come out and enjoy and spend his time exploring the fells mapping them and uh penning out those famous guidebooks in such great detail which you can only do if you know these fells like the back of your hand which of course he did so let's get into it got rick just enjoying some some healthy mixed nuts <laughs> i don't get to answer rick's levels of healthiness that's why i was running up the mountain and we were all <laughs> just taking our time at the back a tactical slow ascent but yeah i'm sure rick's got a nice little there uh, single malt tucked away in the bivy area there. yeah he's got to do that <laughs> stealth <laughs> but yeah can of wayne right cheers jeff that's lovely that you've seen me eat that minced beef hot pot so many times 
so I'm not sitting there filming myself eating some food. So, you know what it's like if you've tried it. I'll bring you back after tea when we're losing the light. It's getting nice and atmospheric, but we're nice and warm. We'll have some good chat, do a bit of filming throughout. Sadly, I don't think there's going to be any stars out, but you never know because there are, there are some breaks in the clouds. So, I'll speak to you a bit later on. So here we go, dusk has fallen, we've got the tents lit up from within and it looks nice, we're just looking down back to the Kirkstone Pass, you've got the lights of the inn far the below, inn. yeah, the haunted inn, lots of videos on the internet all about that, a lot on YouTube. Rick is Vivian, and I'll just show you where Rick's going to be. Got a bit of shelter from the elements, but he's in the Alkit Hunker XL Hardcore. Brilliant, really enjoy that. And yeah, it's our little home from home on the fell side, really cold, but it's exactly how we like it. The testing weather, atmospheric camps, good friends, good chat, that's what it's all about. Speak to you in a bit. Well, good morning. I'm keeping my voice down because I think the lads are still just about waking up. Rick's up and we've got these lovely, lovely skies this morning. I've got a time lapse running, so you'll see that in the video, but yeah, blustery night. Some good, strong gusts of wind. Nice and testing for the tent. Uh, some very strong gusts at times, but it's held up well. And yeah, interesting night, good fun. Look at these views. Look at that. This is what it's all about. This is why we come up to places like this. It's why we climb up. It's why we put ourselves in difficult situations, sometimes uncomfortable for this, because it's always worth it. Because you do not experience things like this when you're down there. You don't experience things like this when you're in a hotel room in the Lake District. You've got to come up. You've got to come and do this. To get these rewards and it's so worth it speaks for itself time for a brew So shout out little Emily, I always show her, she got me this spork um, year before last and I always use it on my wild camps Emily, it's really good and she likes me to uh, say that on the videos so yeah, 
shout out Tom as well you guys can come and do this with your dad when it gets a bit well we've missed this summer because we had a busy one but if we get a mild sort of evening you can come out we'll do this make some burgers and have a nice tea together so you've seen those views and you can hear the wind rattling round it's, I'm impressed by the tent it's done really well um, the jury's still out on whether it's a four season tent or not I couldn't possibly say my view is you know having seen other people using them and you know what they can stand up to I'd say it's a, a good solid two to three season and definitely no issues in the third season um, you know but what I like about it is there's so much room so much sitting room and uh, the two vestibules but you know the really usable vestibules it's not just a vestibule for for vestibule's sake you know they're actually usable you can get lots of stuff in there there's been a good night we've had some heavy rain strong winds as you've heard um, and it's done really well so I'm happy with it good tent I'm just enjoying my coffee and my brunch bar in this case We've gone with a special edition dark chocolate Bourneville one. We don't see them very often, so I snap them up. I always just use a simple or have a simple breakfast on the hill. I can't be bothered cooking anything sort of in depth, but who knows? I better make the effort maybe on a on an upcoming video. There's plenty of upcoming content coming on MCM Outdoors. Autumn and winter are my favourite times of year. We've got something really good coming from Greenland, sent by a good friend of the channel, Matthias Lauridsen and uh, yeah i'm really excited for that it's going to be absolutely great and when there's some horrific weather we're going to be out in it that's all i'm going to say for now it's a bit of a surprise but yeah really excited to use and test that um announcing the winner of the competition on the 28th the cloud peak uh or the cloud up one uh, that will be winging its way to someone there's been some great responses if you haven't responded so far watch that video scroll back I'm not telling you exactly where it is because I don't believe in giveaways for giveaways sake but just go and find it and enter you haven't got long left so yes time to enjoy this and my coffee overlooking Windermere looking across the Morecambe Bay and taking it all in before we pack up and get off the fell <laughs> that's it from me on this one thank you very much for watching uh, just packing up spin your round show you the um, all important as it always should be leaving no trace just this patch of flattened grass it's obviously the same for Rick and Leon and Ant always follow the principles of leave no trace that's what it's all about cracking camp great memories some testing weather and it's taking a turn for the worse. As you can see behind me, we're losing the views. But well, it's been good, good times. Big thanks to Ant for coming along. Cheers. Leon and obviously Rick. I'll link their channels below. Go and check them out. They make some cracking videos themselves. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, quick thumbs up. That'd be great. If you're not a subscriber, check out the back catalogue. There's loads of uh, similar videos back there as well. Just go and check them out. That'd be great. Yeah, go and enjoy the great outdoors yourself, look after it, leave no trace. And finally, let's get our younger generation out enjoying the great outdoors just as much as we do. Teach them, you know, to respect it and look after it. And hopefully they will follow in our footsteps and enjoy things like this themselves. I'll see you on the next adventure and take care. <laughs>